So for our example number 4, we will try to analyze a rectangular hollow structural section tension member or the HSS. Verify the tensile strength of an ASTM A500 grade C hollow structural steel 152.4 by 101.6 by 9.5 with a length of 9.5 meters. The member is carrying a dead load of 180 kN and a live load of 490 kN in tension. As shown in the figure, the end connection is a fillet welded 13 mm thick single concentric gasset plate with a weld length of 400 mm. Assume that the gasset plate and weld are satisfactory. So this is the 13 mm thick gasset plate welded in our section. And the length of connection is 400 mm. And take note that under ASTM A500 grade C, our yield stress is 345 megapascal and our tensile strength or tensile stress is 430 megapascal. Paulit ulit lang naman yung process nito. Yung difference lang is yung pagdetermine natin ng shear lag factor. So for LRFD, P is equal to 1.2 the dead load plus 1.6 live load. So PU is our dead load is 180 kN, dead load 490 <coughs> equal to 1000 kilonewton for ASD my tensile strength dead load plus live load equal to 670 kN so for our available yielding strength For our available tensile yielding strength, we will determine the nominal tensile strength by multiplying the yield stress by the gross area. So 345 megapascal multiplied by 3900, this equal to 1345.5 kilonewton. And for our LRFD, we will just multiply it with 0 0.9. So it is equal to 1210.95 kilonewton. And comparing it with the required tensile strength under LRFD, only 1000 kilonewton so it's greater and for ASD PN is or PN must be divided with the omega T which is 1.67 equal to 805.5 69 kilonewton and it is greater with 670 kilonewton so okay sure.
and for our available tensile rupture strength Tn is equal to tensile stress multiplied by the effective net area determine natin yung shear lag factor u so the, since this is a welded member we'll try to use case number 6 rectangular hollow steel section with a single concentric gasset plate So, I think they determine natin. So, for case number 6, so for case number 6, the shear lag factor is equal to 1 minus x bar all over L. Or our connection eccentricity is equal to d squared plus 2b multiplied by h divided by 4 of b plus h. Or our b is the overall width of the hollow structural steel. And our H is the overall height. The connection eccentricity or the connection length of connection is 400 millimeter. And the overall height is 152.4. And the overall width is 101.6 millimeter so satisfies the limit that the connection eccentricity or that the length of connection must be greater than or equal to the overall height so you just need to substitute the values with the given Our x bar now is equal to is now equal to forty point sixty four millimeter. So, our shear lag factor would now be equal to 0 So for our uh, net area, the gross area of 3,900 square millimeter, tanggalin lang natin yung area in which nandun yung 13 millimeter thick gasset plate. So gross area minus the thickness of the plate multiplied by the thickness of the HSS so AG minus 2 13 plus 1.5 millimeter. As, dis as discussed last time, mag-a-add ng 1.5 for welded member. 
na hollow steel section or hollow structural section. And then multiply natin yung thickness ng HSS which is 9.5. So our net area would now be equal to 3,624.25 millimeters square. So our effective net area is equal to yung multiply lang natin yung shear log factor. will be now equal to 3,254.8 square millimeter. And now ready to determine the nominal tensile strength Tn. Fu is equal to 430 MPa and the effective net area is 3,254.8. So multiplying the two, we get 1,399.56 kN For LRFD Multiplying it by 0 It would now be equal to 1,049.67 kilo newton. And comparing it with our PU, which is only 1,000 kilo newton, it is greater. And for ASD, Pn is divided to omega t, and our omega t is. 2.0 It is now equal to 699.78 kN and Comparing it with PA Our PA is 670 kN So it is greater So Okay yung strength And the last requirement is by determining is to determine the slenderness limit by just dividing the overall length of the member by the radius of gyration. Our radius of gyration na gagamitin natin is 39.42 Since ito yung, ito yung area ng welded connection So the slenderness limit is 228.31 and it is lesser than 300 and we can now conclude that the section is adequate.